South African Post Office is the largest, is the latest state-owned company to hog the headlines for all the wrong reasons in the continent's most advanced economy. The South African Post Office, which has been around since 1972, has been placed under provisional liquidation due to unpaid debts. So Mitra Naidu tells us more. It's another troubled state-owned entity that may disappear from South Africa's economic landscape altogether. However, this is not the first time that the post office is in provisional liquidation. The problem at the post office is a simple one. It's made losses for a prolonged period without a clear plan to turn around its finances. The post office declined an interview but said it had paid the creditor that took it to court. It now has until June to ask the court to take it out of liquidation. There still seems to be so much of confusion and speculation around the plans for the South African post office. In February, the Treasury announced a bailout to the post office. After that, the post bank amendment bill was passed, giving government control of the bank. There was also a plan to retrench 6,000 people. That apparently has been reduced to 2,000 people. The South African government has spent a significant amount of money on bailing out state-owned entities over the past two decades. The finance minister announced a $1.3 million bailout to the post office just two months ago. But that won't be enough as the post office owes creditors close to $4 million. In the end it will be to, up to the shareholder, which is the government. The post office is clearly in desperate need of recapitalization and the government will have to decide whether to recapitalize it. And in the end we have to remember that uh, if the post office is recapitalized, the money will come from the South African taxpayer. The government will have to raise it through taxes. We think that a proper management accountability uh, uh, and also the, the efficiency of an institution uh, can make it work. I mean, the most capitalist uh, country in the world, which is America, has two things that are nationalized, is the army and the post office. And post office, they're doing very well, even run elections. So we think that uh, this can do that as well and employ more instead of cutting jobs. The post office is slowly becoming irrelevant due to digital advancements. However, it remains important for its infrastructure. A large part of the population still access their social grants at various post office branches across the country, especially outside of the cities. Samitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.